Welcome back to Seahawks All Access. Every week, the radio broadcast team gives the listeners an entertaining analysis of what happens on the field. We got a chance to let you, the viewer, see what it takes to put the Seahawks on the airwaves. 40. Here he goes. Are they going to catch him? 40, 35, 30, 25, 10, My. 5, touchdown Seahawks. What a run by Sean Alexander. He's the voice of the Seattle Seahawks, and he's been around this franchise since its inception. Steve Rabel played behind Steve Largent for six years before taking his seat next to Pete Gross, and the rest is history. Uh, Pete Gross called and said, uh, the job is open, the color commentator, if you're interested. Hello, everybody. Pete Gross with Steve Rabel, and a welcome to the Kingdom this afternoon as the Seahawks are going to be in the National League football playoffs. He's been talking Hawks ever since, but a typical Sunday during the season isn't just calling plays. We're very busy when we get to the stadium. Prior to the actual broadcast, we're asked to do uh, uh, pre-game appearances, the chalk talk that we do for the fans, which is great fun, answering their questions, kind of explaining what's going on. Then we hit the field and we uh, talk to the opposing coaches and players that we know, and of course Warren knows everybody, so he gets great information. Warren Moon has been by Steve's side for the last two years. In addition to this super duo, the team also includes sideline reporter Akemi Takei. Just being on the sidelines is such a privilege. I mean, to see the game at that level, the, the game speed is unbelievable. The, the impact that they hit with is unbelievable. Just the communication between the players and the coaches, it's incredible. I don't think people would realize how smooth an operation it is. I have a producer who's standing right behind us, Brian O'Connell, who is great. He helps me spot. He uh, reminds me of the storylines that we have laid out for that week. And if something happens that can generate conversation in that direction, he does that. Having worked all those years with Steve in the booth and our, getting our chemistry down and our teamwork down, this year really stands out just with all the success that the team's having. The fact that we are one game away from going to Detroit, 30 years he's been with the team, and that he gets experienced possibly the first Seahawks Super Bowl. Steve Rabel knows exactly what he's going to say if the team makes it to Detroit, but his lips are sealed. I'm not going to say it anywhere until that happens because I don't want to jinx the deal. 